I accepted Mike's invitation to write a tribute and to also make a statement in a, vid in a video, I thought my job was done. I didn't realize that he will ask me to be chairman because when I realized that my brother and colleague, President Woodlock Jonathan, was coming, I thought he will be made the chairman of this occasion. But when I was called, then I decided we have got two chairmen for this occasion. <laughs> so, so we are co-chair. But before I give President Jonathan the opportunity to say his statement as a co-chair. I, I have two or three words to describe Mike. And the first one is that He's an extraordinary man. Extraordinary man. And I thought I would live by that until yesterday I was out. And when I was coming back home, a friend of mine called and said, where will you be tomorrow? Uh, and I said, tomorrow I will be attending uh, a double ceremony for a friend who is celebrating his birthday and who also at the same time is presenting 50 books, and he said, who is that friend? I mentioned his name, Mike. Oh, and his reaction was, oh, he's one of those radicals. So I thought that, well, I, I have said, um, this man is an extraordinary man. When my friend said he's one of those radicals, I did not know what to say. So when I got home, I took my dictionary because I don't know whether I will want to tell Mike that he has been described as a radical or whether I will not. So I took my dictionary. And of course, dictionary never lies. It will tell you. So I look at the word radical, and it says, a person who, devo uh, who advocates thorough or complete political or social change. Ah, I like that. I said, <laughs> so I said, well, look, I will add that to my description of Mike. Mike is a pastor, and I also add a little bit of mine to the dictionary definition. So I now read it out to you, what I put down. Mike is a person who advocates thorough 
or complete political or social change with conviction, courage, and integrity. And that is the man that we have come to honor. Mike, happy birthday and more grief to your elbow. You can go, sir. I'm not going. <laughs> uh, thank you, Your Excellency. In fact, uh, the President of Passenger described me as his uh, younger brother. He's my father, not his uh, <laughs> younger brother. <laughs> and he's somebody I admire so much even before I got into politics. So thank you, sir, for giving me this opportunity. You have brought me to speak at this time. I would have been made to speak maybe at the, towards the last. And you have now the upgraded early, me. The earlier, the better. <laughs> <laughs> you have upgraded me to be a co-chair. A co thank you so much. So as a co-chair, the chairman has already said what we should say. I wouldn't want to belabor the issues. And more so, like President Obasan said, I wrote the forward of one of the books. And I also made the brief remarks in the video that maybe they will play on the multimedia, so on. So I may not even want to talk about mine because I've made some statements, especially on the video. But looking at the titles of the 50 books, then you really see that Mike is more than even being a radical. Because uh, if you look at the various titles cut across almost all spheres of life, political science, law, history, biography, philosophy, health, etc., etc., is writing like the philosophers of old. In those days when knowledge was not compartmentalized, and one philosopher can talk across the sphere of knowledge, and that is mine. We thank God for creating people like you that can educate our children and continue to do your work. Well, because Mark is a very senior lawyer, so I know so many senior lawyers are here, both at the bar and the bench. So in such occasions, we only use such platforms to plead, especially those of us who are into the political environment, that the, 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 the way things are going in this country especially listening to the judgments being given regarding political cases, which Baba will not want to go in, but I can go in. We are beginning to see that democracy in Nigeria is like a cone that is being turned upside down. And if a cone, and you turn it upside down, and the top that's supposed to be big, even if it's little roundish, and you manage to stand it, it cannot be so stable. The slightest perturb perturbation, it will fall. And when I listen to senior lawyers like Olisa Bakuba, who was making comments on some Supreme Court judgments, I felt very sad that the country has got into that level. I please that if democracy will endure our the, people both at the bar and the bench should not be carried away by political influence. That is the only way. And that is the only way we can stabilize the political process. I know the lawyers enjoy, during, immediately after election, the avalanche of litigation, because it's like Christmas for lawyers. But most countries don't go that way. People don't go to court. But in Nigeria, Pre-election matters, election matters. Fill all the courts. And this does not give a good sign for democracy. Comparing Nigeria to other African countries and some more countries outside Africa that have been able to get involved in the electoral processes. So to me, it worries me. In fact, towards the end of this month, I'll be going to Botswana. And when you go and see what others do, and you come back home and see what we do, it worries us. There is a particular judgment that has been haunting, and I need to mention that luckily I'm not a lawyer. I'm seeing that from a layman view. My most very senior lawyers are here. That really turned the cone upside down. And if 
the courts don't really look into this and rectify it, it will create so much instability in the political system that it could affect all of us. Even those who claim to have succeeded, their victory song will not last long because we will all be victims. Where the courts say a war chairman can expel a national chairman of a political party. This is not in line with natural justice. The law is to control human behavior, and human behavior must follow our God created systems. And you cannot tell me that the head of department, for example, in a university, can expel the vice chancellor. So how can the Nigerian law tell me that a war chairman can expel a national officer of a political party? And since that judgment has been given, it has created, brought all in, created all kinds of instability in the, in the parties. In fact, my uh, PDP is into crisis because of that judgment. APC at the time was also into crisis because of that judgment. And I'm not looking at it from a legal perspective because I don't know anything about the law. But when I look at how nature works, I have never seen a system where a subunit can discipline the top. For, for PDP exactly, in the, of course, Baba knows. In the constitution of PDP, if you're a national officer, even your state cannot discipline you. Not to talk about a ward or officers that are not even members of NEC, the National Executive Council. And we are saying that a ward chairman of a party can suspend and expel a national chairman of a political party. I'm pleading with the Supreme Court to review that their judgment. Because that judgment has turned the coon upside down. Political processes, the democracy is wobbling. I don't want to go more, but let me just use this as an example. Baba, thank you for bringing me. Let me join you to congratulate Mike Ozakome, the wife and the family, for this 67th birthday uh, celebration. And uh, let me also, as a co-chair that I've been promoted to, thank all of you for coming to celebrate this family and celebrate this man that has made significant impact in the growth of Nigeria, especially his struggles for good governance and the political leadership. I thank you all. Thank you. Uh, before you go, I just want to thank you for the comment you made about political judgment and you said, I wouldn't say anything, yes, because there's much to say and there's not yet time for it. Thank you. I say a very happy birthday to the, the great Akbapa Vigi Vigi of Bini Empire, the Isama Okunovai, and Senior Advocate of the Masses and Senior Advocate of Nigeria. Chief Mike Uzehome, congratulations. I pray that you come greater than whatever he is today by tomorrow. She will become greater than whatever he is today. Long life, good health, peace of mind, rich in and fame. Among it all, keep your dignity, for well, that is what you have. Your name again, sir? Kesli Omo Irabo Esquire.